The first two episodes of Ahsoka dropped and here are my honest thoughts about this show. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. The thing I thought they absolutely nailed was all of the characters from Rebels. This is very much the next season of Rebels. And the first two episodes kind of takes place in that time gap that we've seen in Rebels in the finale. I think this was just absolute masterclass writing from Dave Filoni. Absolutely love this time period of Star Wars. And I'm very excited to see what they do in the unknown regions because this is a completely unexplored area for Star Wars. And Ahsoka has the chance to really broaden the horizons and the scope of Star Wars lore. The first thing I really want to talk about are the designs of the characters. They all look fantastic, but the biggest standout is Hera Syndulla. Her character design looks absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Not only do we get to see the return of Ahsoka and Hera, we get the return of my favorite droid of all time, Chopper. He's, of course, just as psychotic as he was in Rebels. He, <laughs> he is so funny, and I can actually kind of understand him even better now i thought i was going crazy i spoke to my friends about this over discord and i was like is it just me or can you all understand chopper and they hadn't seen the second episode yet so they kind of thought i was a little bit high this isn't really a major bonus for this show but i do feel like i need to talk about the first two episodes including almost everything from the trailers that is huge because now i have no clue what's going to happen the rest of the season the trailers got me excited for the show but then when it shows almost all of that footage in the first two episodes, it really leaves you wondering what's going to happen in the future. I've seen some people talk about this show seeming like it has two storylines, one following Ahsoka and one following Sabine. But I think the Sabine arc is there because of Ahsoka. She used to be Ahsoka's Padawan, and now by the end of episode two, obviously, she's back to being her Padawan and she's ready to learn. But I think there's something that Ahsoka also still needs to learn, and possibly she learns it from Anakin's Force Ghost. I don't think they're two separate arcs. I definitely think that the Sabine arc is part of Ahsoka's story because that is her Padawan, just like she was Anakin's Padawan. The show also gave us an introduction to two new villains, and I say villains in quotations because Balin and Shin, I'm not quite sure that they're going to be the villains of this show. I do have a theory about these two, which I will talk about in another video, but these two are absolutely crushing the role, and I love their orange lightsabers. Dave Filoni talked about why they're orange, and you can definitely go watch that video for yourself. I'm not going to further explore that in this video. If you do want me to explore that, please let me know down in the comments. Something else I have absolutely loved in the first two episodes alone were the callbacks. We got a Darth Maul reference with Shin and the probes. That was unreal, almost shot for shot. It was crazy. There was also a parallel between Ahsoka and Anakin. In the final season of Clone Wars, they were fighting on a bridge, and you see Anakin come up to Obi-Wan, who's hiding, and all he's doing is leaning to the side as blaster bolts fly by him. And then in the second episode, after she fights Merrick, the Inquisitor, who I also have a theory about, which will be in another video, she just kind of leans to the side, just like Anakin did. Just a very nice callback to those Clone Wars episodes. This isn't even to mention one of the last scenes in the second episode of Ahsoka being a shot-for-shot -shot replica of the final scene in Rebels. I just think this show is so well-written, and the actors playing all these characters are absolutely nailing the dynamics of all of them from Rebels. I'm so excited to finish the rest of the season of Ahsoka. Waiting a week for another episode is driving me insane. I'm just ready to binge the entire season. And honestly, never stop. I just want them to constantly pump out this Ahsoka show if it's going to be this well written all of the time. If you all want to watch Ahsoka and react with me, make sure you go to the link in the description because if there's enough interest, I'm going to start hosting watch parties in Discord. I do have the videos of me reacting to it live where you can watch along with me, but I would love to actually do that live in Discord. To describe what the experience of this Ahsoka show has been like so far in just one word, it's got to be nostalgic because of how well it's written, all the characters and the dynamics between the actors. It's perfect. It's exactly like the Rebel show, and this is definitely just a continuation of that show, which I absolutely loved. One of my favorite Star Wars projects of all time. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of this show so far in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and drop a like. Other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.